everyone, this is Roxas1359. Welcome to the finale of Let's Play Ape Escape Big Mission! Last time, we defeated Spectre and managed to return to our normal size permanently. Now, the way it looked like, it looked like we had killed Spectre. Maybe that's why we haven't had Ape Escape 4. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go through all the little things that I got on my actual practice file. The concept arts and everything. I don't need to go through the cutscenes. Uh, starting off, I guess we can go through some of the enemies. Kongu bo Bogu. Ah, Kongu Bogu. The gorilla bot. Yumi Bogu. I guess Yumi means arrow. Kan Bogu. Or that. That's Gan. Ah, Gan Bogu. Gan Borg R. Desatoborg. Desatoborg R. Zombie Borg. Uo Borg. Okay, that one's kind of weird. Roda Borg. Roda Borg. I Borg. Okay, that is kind of weird. Harry Borg. That one makes sense. Hanmanborg. No. Hanma Borg. Okay. Doroborg. That one's the thief. That one's only in one level. Buta. Butankoborg. Okay, Buta means pig. I don't know what the other one is. Right? Mizuborg. Water robot. Hakoborg. Hako... I don't know what they're going with that one. See, it's hard to see the 1010 from this far away. I'm gonna assume pa... Panchi... Ah, Panchi Borg. Punch Borg. Kiano... Kianon Borg. Like I said, I read Katakana slow. Baku... Borg. Heru Borg. Okay, Helmet Borg. Furai Borg. <laughs> really? Ran. Ran Borg. Or Raso. Tate Borg. That's. Yeah, that's Tate Borg. Abaren Borg. Okay. Doro Borg R. Saru Rota. Saru Robot. Saru UFO. And those are all the enemies in the game. Now for the concept art. Uh, I guess we can go through there. Kakeru. See, this is what I mean. This is like the best models they have for it. Next up, Natsumi. Who they made look cute. Uki Red. He looks like he's gonna go and punch me in the face. And his mammoth. Monkey Blue. And his horse with his banana rifle. And the bull that we're riding on. Monkey, oh my god, he's in a- I never noticed the bridal gown. Oh my god. I never noticed that. Okay. Monkey pink. Evil monkey pink. Monkey white. Now the annoying thing is, there is no specter concept art. There is of Gorilliac, and the Gorilliac head, but there isn't of actual specter. Anyway, these are all the concept arts for all the Borgs, and then these are the items. Some of the controlling ones. The Nano Cannon. That honestly looks amazing. The Station. Warp Station. Gotcha Box. Warp save Pad. No, that's the Save Pad. That was the minigame one. And just some stuff right here. The Stages. Not bad. Okay, these are just random objects. Alright, so that's all the concept art. Going through this pretty fast. Then there are movies. It is all the movies that are in there. Basically, each one it interchanges to uh, first cutscene, Shisaku Natsuyate. Then Hiro Hikaru o Suke. Basically, we need to save Jimmy. Jimmy is saved. We, Aki needs to be rescued. 
Hockey is saved. It just interchanges with that. Now, I guess I can go into the flaws that this game has. One, it's too short, and it feels a bit repetitive, which I will give. But then again, I don't fault it because the Ape Escape game can be best described as repetitive at times. Its replay value is still fun because I will honestly say I played this and instantly wanted to play it again. There's not many games that make me want to play completely over again right after I finish it. There's rarely any games that do that. And this game really did it for me. Now, in hindsight, I think I'm going to have to do my Let's Play of Ape Escape 3 before I can officially put this one on the top list of my favorite ones, but this one's definitely up there. Definitely past Ape Escape 2. And, I mean, it's all around a good game. The models are great. It's a lot of fun. It does something different, which isn't bad. I like it when a series that does the same thing tries something new. Look at Crash Twin Sanity. I freaking love that game. Crash Twin Sanity was awesome. And it's nice to see all of the Ape Escape characters, even though some of them took a back seat later on. Pretty much everyone took a back seat once we rescued the next person. But I guess mainly if you can get a copy of this game, that's good. If you're a fan of the Ape Escape series, I highly recommend this game. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the Japanese Amazon recently listed a few more of those. But that was about $70. I paid about $50 for this. Actually, no, I paid $45. That's with shipping. Shipping was only like 4 bucks. And, I mean, this game is a lot of fun. Now, I'm not showing you the minigame because it is literally a card battle minigame. I might do some videos in the future showing that off. But I suck at card games and I have no idea what the hell is going on. So when you have a bunch of gacha coins left over, you can go and buy more cards, actually. Wait, no, you don't buy them in here. You actually buy them at where the minigame is. And it seems that this minigame had Wi-Fi capabilities, so you could play against other people. Sort of like how the Mirage Arena is in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Um, I can't really think of much else to say. I mean, I really enjoyed the project. It was fun. It seemed like I kind of died off towards the end, but that sort of happens every once in a while with an Ape Escape game. I don't know why it does that, but, I mean, trust me on this, I still had a lot of fun, and I completely loved the music. Um, now, I most likely did post-commentary through a lot of it. I just realized that you could probably hear an echo. I apologize for that. Um, I probably did post-commentary for a lot of the backtracking, because Doing live commentary with the backtracking is not as much fun because it makes you less enthusiastic. And I mean, it's backtracking. That's all I'm doing. Which is kind of a pain. So I think for future projects I'm going to be doing that. But just like always, stay tuned after this and you will see what my next Game Anyone exclusive is going to be. It's going to be a long one. And hopefully I will have the other game soon too. Um, I'm going to focus, like I've said before, I'm going to start focusing more on Game Anyone. I'm going to bring you guys a lot of the games that I have that Game Anyone does not have a single playthrough of. I'm honestly tempted to do Pumped and Primed. Um, I guess if enough people ask, because, I mean, I do it twice. Because I do the Apescape series on my YouTube channel, but I'm doing this game twice. Because the second one's going to have the full translations. This was, like, my first time playing through it and everything and just having a lot of fun. The next one's gonna be translations and everything. And it'll be kinda hard to re-LP a game, but I mean, I make my decisions, right? And Pumped and Primed, like I said before, is a game that has a great replay value because you have so many different characters. So I can do that for you guys. Uh, put in the comments if you would like that. I wouldn't mind doing it for you, but I wanna know ahead from you guys. It's not going to be next, mind you. No, the next one's going to be long going to take me a while to do. And then I might also do Million Monkeys for you guys, too. And then I got my Japanese imports that no one's done on Game Anyone either. And then eventually I got to continue the Jack and Daxter series, that's for sure. But there we go. Pretty much I can sum up Ape Escape Saru Saru Daisaku Sen in one word, it would be fun. 
which is simply fun. So with that, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359. And I thank you guys for watching. Saru get you. Saru Saru Dai Sakusen. Or Ape Escape Big Mission. Hope to see you guys for my next project. Which I don't know when it will premiere. But hope to see you guys there.